Tanika hapa asubuhi ya leo. Tunakushukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya kutuwezesha hata kukutana na Mheshimiwa Rais. Tunakutukuza Mungu ni kwa sababu ya association ambayo imetuwezesha sisi kukusanyika mahali hapa. Tunakuomba Bwana ukabariki wana boda boda wote ambao Bwana wamefanikisha mpango huu wa association ambayo unaitwa Back. Mungu wetu asante kwa ajili ya taifa letu la Kenya. Tunaomba baraka zako Mungu ziende pamoja nasi. Katika jina la Yesu tunaomba na kuamini. Amen. Kwa rusa yako Mheshimiwa Rais naomba tuketi. Mheshimiwa Rais karibu katika sherehe yetu ya siku ya leo na kutuongoza katika ratiba hii mtamwalika mwenyekiti wa kitaifa wa usalama wa boda boda bwana Kevin Mubadi atuongoze kwa makaribisho mafupi karibu mwenyekiti Your Excellency Honorable Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta our CS Margaret Kobia our CS Joe Mushiru, all the uh, government officials around, the Boda Boda officials from across the country, Boda Boda officials from Nairobi, and uh, members of the Fort Estate, good morning. Boda Boda Power! Boda Boda Power! First of all, I want to thank this opportunity to thank you so much, Your Excellency, for taking this opportunity to come. You know you are very tired, you are from a very heavy journey. <laughs> so we are there together and we are here today. It shows that uh, you really support the, the youth of this country. So just a small history about the Boda Boda Safety Association. We started uh, in 2014. It has been a long journey of six years, trying to bring these people together, trying to bring the proper leadership of Boda Boda sector in this country to ensure that uh, the youth of this country from the Boda Boda sector transform and become the, uh, the vision bearer of the economic transformation of this country. We have over 1.4 million riders in this country, and uh, we have decided that we are no longer going to sit down and cry. It is our time to come together and form an organization that will bring us together to contribute our funds, to put it together so that we can develop ourselves. So, Your Excellency, these are 47 county chairman. I just want to do a quick introduction of 30 seconds. We have our eight regional chairmen. I have, first of all, my cabinet, that is secretary, treasurer, just stand up and wave. Secretary, he's a Halifa Masahu, chairman of Mombasa County. He's uh, my treasurer from Nyandarwa County. Nyandarwa County. And our, my deputy chairman is there, John Tirop, chairman of Nandi County. We have Peter Keegan from uh, Kericho County. Now, the eight regional officials, Mama, because we wanted to do regional balance. You know, Kenya has to go under regional balance. We have the eight regional officials. So those are uh, eight regional officials from across the country. Kaeni Chini. Then we have the 47 county chairman. Just stand and wave to the president. As you see them, Your Excellency, I called them yesterday, and today they are here. I did not question anything, and they didn't believe they are coming to meet you. You know, I had promised them last year that one day I will make sure that you sit with the sitting president of this country. See, what was <laughs> And I was not sure if it will happen. I just promised them because they were pushing me so hard. But I thank God today it happened miraculously. <laughs> so, Your Excellency, uh, today, the reason why we are here is to start a journey, a journey of transformation, a journey of making sure that our youths are not misused, our border border riders are not misused in this country, that we focus and we support the government. Your Excellency, I want a time like this next year, your CS Okuru Yachani makes a phone call to me and says, your Honorable Chairman, kindly can we discuss something? <laughs> eh? Because, Your Excellency, the money that we contribute to this country, uh, to the economy, when you look at the fuel, when you look at our daily contribution, when you say we start, we can contribute to over 300 billion. The other day, the Senate was fighting over 316 billion, I think. So we can easily fund the counties when we come together as border. And this is my dream, Your Excellency. 
Another excellency, you are, another dream, your excellency, I want us to build a BAK tower. You see our organization is called BAK. We want us to have a BAK tower so that these people can also wajivunie kuwa in the shadow of Kikibiki Kenya here. The other thing we want also to, to be economically empowered so that these people, what is it, you cannot ride a motor for more than 10 years to undergo get some medical complication. So I want to transform, for, okay, when you reach to 10 years, do you have some savings that you can start another business to do rather than riding so that you can give way to these other young coming riders to do the job as you do the other business. So that is sort of transformation you are looking for. Your Excellency, as we are here, I told these guys, all of them across the country, that our duty as the youth of this country is to respect the government of the day and support the government in anything they do. <laughs> Your Excellency, we know the reggae has started. I'm wondering, where are you going? You want to leave us with the reggae? So we must walk this journey together. And as these guys, they are saying, we are going to support you. We'll support the BBI. We'll support the Uduma number. Your Excellency, I'm the first. I think in this room, we are just three who have the Uduma card number. They don't know, but we are just three. Me, you, and the chairman for, from uh, Kisi. Yes. <laughs> so that's a secret, and we are make sure that we support the Uduma number. We want to be the ambassador of the Uduma number. Let us support the government. We want to support the BBI. If you did the handshake and came together, and say now this is the right way to go. As the youth, we think that is the best way to do. And we are going to mobilize, we are going to support you fully. What about the power? Wow. Are you going to support the president? Sour. We may scare my neighbor. So, Your Excellency, uh, we are here today because we could not do this. For a very long time, but the border people have been stolen from. It is a challenge across the country. I've been moving across this country. You meet the border border groups. When I say my oh, somebody came here, Kasanya Pesaito Akapotea. Oh, we are not we don't have trust in the circles. Oh, we do we are we are not organized. But I have taken time to study, to work with the government, and I, first of all I want to thank your CS, super CS Dr. Fred Makiani. He has really supported us. And I can assure you, he gave us an office where we are now operating from. I want to thank uh, CS John Sheru, he has been working with us this journey together. He has been very supportive to make sure that my dreams, the dreams I had, to transform this sector is achieved. And today we are here to witness the ceremony of signing a document that will ensure these people's money, wherever they contribute, that 50 shillings they will contribute, it is safe, it is monitored by the government agencies, and it is well kept for the benefit of them and their members that they hold. So for that uh, few remarks, Your Excellency, I just want to call the, uh, first of all, I want to recognize on Monday next week, you know we have been working with the male-dominated area. We are recognizing the women riders in this country. You know gender rule? We have had so many women riders who suffer. You know, as a rider, the sun is on you, the rain, everything. But these women, they left everything else because there's no jobs. They decided to self-employ. And we are going to recognize them on Monday. I have called all the 47 county representative women, and our able CS will be the chief guest on Monday to ensure that we empower the women riders in this country. We want also to recognize them. So this is a movement that is not stoppable until we achieve what we want to achieve in partnership with the government. So I will call the NABO uh, officials to come in front. Maybe under the KCB. So the NABO team, with your respect, Your Excellency, if you have a one or third second remarks on what is happening today, you can come and explain just in one minute. The center, the guys that want to explain something in one minute on what is happening today, you can just come because you know the, His Excellency is very tired. He's very tired, he needs to go and rest. This is the respect he did to us. Yeah. Thank you. Your Excellency, uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta, 
Cabinet Secretary, on uh, Joe Michel, Cabinet Secretary, uh, Professor Margaret Kobia, all government officials, uh, distinguished uh, guests, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning. Uh, a few weeks ago, Your Excellency, one of the regional chairmen, actually, I can see him sitting there in a red uh, shirt inside. You can lift up. Degwa, lift up your hand. We were having a meeting. We were having a meeting, uh, and uh, he challenged us. He said, how can we make the Boda Boda rider to move from being a, just a rider to a Boda Boda owner, then to a, then to a Chap Chap owner, then to a... Uh, uh, then to a matatu owner. Okay. Sorry about that. So, Bwanadegwa, he gave us a challenge. Thank you. Ah, much better. Asante Bwana, His Excellency. <laughs> so we met uh, Bwanandegwa and he challenged us. He told us, how can you help us to move a Boda Boda rider from just being a rider to an owner of the, of the motorbike, then to an owner of a tuk-tuk, then to an owner of a chap uba chap chap, and then to an owner of a matatu. And that became the inspiration behind this Uhuru Sovereign Trust Fund. Your Excellency, the Uhuru Sovereign Trust Fund will be an umbrella fund. It's like a highway, which will have the Boda Boda Unit Trust Fund as the first sub fund. There will be many others coming because we want to cater for all the youths and you are making a great example with the Boda Boda Riders. Your Excellency, we have put together a team of reputable partners in, to deliver three things. And the first thing is safety of the money of the Boda Boda people because we respect their sweat. The second thing is to grow their money. And the third thing is to ensure that we give them added benefits where they have missed before. So this team, the biggest team, is around 50. And the first one, uh, the first uh, partner is Capital Markets Authority, who is represented here by the, cha by the chairman. <laughs> then there's a Boda Boda, of course, uh, association, led by the chair here. They will give us strategic direction. They will tell us what they want to invest in, what, what are their dreams, and will help them to achieve their dreams. Then there's KCB, which is the biggest bank in Kenya, which will be acting as the uh, corporate trustee and also as the custodian to make sure that their money is safe. Your Excellency, I want to say it here. In this product that we are putting together for the Boda Boda, nobody else can touch the money it goes straight to the custodian. So the money is safe. It will never be mixed up with anybody else's money. This, another partner we have is called SMART, who are going to help us to ensure we have biometric uh, identification of the members so that there is no fraud. Okay? The third one, the, another one will be uh, Sidian and Tribus, who will help us in providing the technology to drive the system. The second benefit, which is around increase, will be powered by Centum through Nabo Capital. And uh, for the benefits, add-on benefits, which uh, we'll have uh, our partners speak. I will not speak for them, but I'll just mention them. Today, we've already uh, spoken to Rubens, Monarch Insurance, NHIF, and KRA, who will also give us the benefit, the benefit of tax exemption. So how will it work? Just to, in very few, very few words, the Boda Boda riders will make contributions of 50 shillings per day. 
And also, when they visit the fuel stations, they will get a rebate of three shillings per liter. And all this money will be collected in the custodian account in their name. Okay? Once it gets to the custodian, we will be alerted that there is money to be invested and we'll invest on their behalf. So uh, that is just a, a nutshell of how uh, this product will be working, uh, but the details I can give later. Thank you very much. So, Your Excellency, that is the program that we have, the bigger dream for the youth of Kenya. I think that is the best direction we as the youth can move on. And uh, to add on the ladies' issue, I want to recognize one crucial partner that has been standing with us, that is UNFPA, and we have Dr. Olajide there. He has been very supportive <laughs> on issue of gender. So we want to thank you so much for the support you have been offering to us. Thank you very much. Mheshimiwa Rais, hivi sasa wanatia sahihi mkataba wa makubaliano ambao tumeelezwa kwa kifupi jinsi ambavyo vijana wetu wataweza kubahatika na wale wote ambao ni riders. Ni menuku machache on savings, investments welfare benefits kama vile insurance and medical cover legal advice education and training i captured a few things when he was sharing with us na mkataba huo ndio utakaowezesha uendeshaji wote wa boda boda kuwa katika nafasi hiyo tuwapongeze wanapozidi kutia sahihi Mheshimiwa Rais ni shahidi maana na shuhudia. Itaomba kila mmoja ashike na kala yake na kala moja moja ili tuweze kupata picha tutasimama tu mahali mlipo kila mmoja apate na kala moja may we be upstanding and show to the camera people the front side yes tuwapigie makofi na wakati huo niombe mheshimiwa rais watapata picha moja kwa ruhusa yako nawe hapo mbele kwa hivyo nitaomba watajongea juu mwenyekiti tutapata picha moja na mheshimiwa rais tuje juu tafadhali tenda upande wa chini just cover yes let's showcase tuonyeshe mkataba wetu tumpongeze mheshimiwa rais kupata nafasi ya kuja kushiriki siku hii ya leo mheshimiwa rais kabla ya uketi nikubalie tu ni muombe ndugu yetu the general manager kutoka rubis amenifahamisha kwamba you will be the first beneficiary of the rubies card. Kwa hivyo nitaomba wale wengine wanapoondoka asante sana naomba mrudi sasa. Mheshimiwa Rais atabaki